All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fork Over the Ring, where we all know the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And today we're going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to show you guys my DIY geometric accent wall um, for my vanity room. This room will be seen a lot of my videos for when I got when I do like little story times or whatever. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And if you want to see how else I decorate this room, um, let me know and I'll make another video. So to get started, all we're going to do is start taping off our shapes. I pretty much went to Home Depot and said, what is the best tape you have for the project that I'm trying to do? And this is what they gave me. Um, I can definitely link down below in the description box the name and brand of the tape. I don't remember right now. But it's perfect because it lets you lay it down and it doesn't allow for the tape to tape pull up the paint later on. Even though mine pulled up just a little bit, but that was my fault. So when it comes to doing these shapes for the geometric I picked this way because it seemed to be the dummy proof way. I am not artistic. I can't paint. I can't draw. I can't do none of that. I saw some people with like really pretty octagons, triangle squares that were perfect. I knew that wasn't my skill set. So luckily with this, as long as you kind of keep laying the tape down and they cross over, you're always guaranteed to have some sort of a shape. I had my mom there with me to let me know if it looked good or not look good. As y'all can see, I was sweating a little bit because y'all, this is a lot of work, okay? So if you got a bae to help you out, let that man help you because this is not um, what I signed up to do in my life. I wanted to cook, but I also wanted a pretty wall. So um, I went through and I pretty much just kind of did all the shapes. If you look to the far right-hand side where it goes through, um, where the window is, those are a little smaller, but you're able to get bigger on the other side. What I also did after I did the tape, the second task is to go through and to mark what your colors are so that they are random. I actually used a randomizing app. And before I started to dab the paint into the little squares or the shapes or whatever, I actually went through and wrote one, two, three, four, because I used four different colors. I used a gray, two different pinks, and a gold. So you went through and I just kind of marked everything off. And then you see me going over with a small paintbrush now to go over those numbers. Again, just so that when it's time to go through and start painting, it's easier. Then you go through, I used the gray, and I went through and I actually just did um, each one that's gray. And you go over it one time, you have to go over each thing twice. Then the first set of pinks. Again, I went through each color twice and I used a very small detailed rolling brush so that it could fit through all of my shapes. And then this gold. Although it is pretty in the end, y'all, this is the most annoying thing in the freaking world. It took about four coats of this gold in order for it to go. As you can see, if you look at the first coat, you can still see through. You can see my little mark I made in it. If people don't stop texting me, oh my God. Um, so you can still see like all the little marks inside of it. So you kind of have to keep on going and just keep going and keep going until it's done because it's so annoying. But at the end, it's definitely worth it. Don't be afraid to go over the lines because I was a little afraid at first, but then I realized it didn't matter because I was pulling the tape up. And you can always go back later and use a small brush like I did, um, you'll see later on, and kind of just fix whatever imperfections you've made. And you sit there, you just let it paint. I had a concert, excuse me, Beyonce was jamming. Um, so, you know, judge me later, or judge your mama, not my problem. And this is coat two of the paint. It's starting to look a little better, but it did. I looked at it dry overnight and came back and did two more coats. And then you're done. You just start to peel all the tape off. This is the most satisfying part of it all because all your hard work is just kind of, it's done. You're done. <laughs> I did go through and take, uh, paint my other walls gray when it was all done and said, um, I would suggest if you could just do it all in one day, I would. I, if I would have started earlier in the day, I would have got it done. I would have saved myself ruining three pairs of sweatpants that I loved. Um, if you see here, there are some places where because the paint, the white paint on my wall was a little old. I did go through and I had to be a little more careful because I peeled off some of the paint on the wall, which messed up my shape, which was fine because I went and got um, like a straight edge and just fixed it. like that golden right there. It's fine. I went and got a straight edge later on and I just fixed it. And this is the finished result. So if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for next week's video. And also follow me on social media at Dream with Nick. Once I reach 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a really, really big giveaway. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, and you have an awesome one.